What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoredates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about Will Tennyson. So this is a um, big up and coming influencer. Well, I don't even know if you call him up and coming. Like he's obviously a very big influencer already in this industry. And uh, it's been exceptionally quick at the rate at which he's been growing. So I've been watching his channel for, you know, here and there for the past, I don't know, nine, 10 months or even almost a year at this point, actually, and just like watching him really take off. Like at first, I thought he was just like a knockoff, like Matt does fitness kind of channel where he just kind of like, you know, copies the, you know, eating challenge every single week, does that kind of like, you know, cookie cutter video that a lot of people in the fitness industry do when they run out of ideas. It's like fucking eating 10,000 calories of my sister's brother's girlfriend's fucking granddaughter's fucking dog's diet. <laughs> but no, he actually has like a lot of creative stuff that he intertwines into his own videos and has like clearly separated himself from the cookie cutter kind of guys who do the like very obvious versions of those like eating challenges and whatnot. And, you know, like obviously I've been taking note of his growth because it's just been like exponential in terms of how quickly it's taken off. So the thing that interested me though, is like anytime I've seen his videos pop up, I'm like, oh, you know, let's check out this guy's shit see what's going on lately. He has like, I guess, I guess you can't make your followers private on Instagram. So he has like 156,000 on Instagram, but then on YouTube, for some reason his subscribers are private. So I was like, like, why? I don't, I don't really get it. I felt like maybe he had it private at first and then he was just like blowing up so quick that he was like, you know what, I'm gonna, make it public when, once I hit a million or something. I don't really know, because it's like there's nothing to be ashamed of with how quickly he's exploding. Like, I don't see why you would make it private. So I thought it would make an interesting video to calculate how many subscribers he has, because this is uh, something that is like pretty easy to figure out, at least in my opinion. And, you know, being uh, in the YouTube space, I don't think it would be too hard to figure out. And, I was just like wondering one day, I was like looking at his shit, I'm like, well, why is this stuff private? So I like went and was like, you know what, I'll just fucking calculate it and see how much it is. So if you go to his about page, you see how many views he has in totality. So he has uh, 56,992,563 views. So basically how you would calculate that is, like if you go to Social Blade, for example, you can get a very, a pretty like rough estimate of what similar YouTubers kind of like ratio of view to subscriber is. So like, for example, how many views will you have to get to convert one of those viewers into a subscriber? And there's sort of a rough like range that a lot of these guys fall into in the fitness industry and especially similar YouTubers of similar content with these, you know, like entertaining, like I would say like Matt does fitness style videos because he's maybe he's not the first, but the first person I've seen to have like a comedic hook on the front end, have an intro have the video and it's like always an eating challenge or something similar to that or some sort of creative spin on it, some sort of challenge. And then that's the video. And that is, uh, you know, like uploading once or once weekly or twice weekly at most. And like, obviously that'd be fucking hard to do. I can, I can't even imagine doing two of those challenges a week or whatever. And how often is Will? Yeah. Will does twice a week, I think right now. So anyway, he's been keeping up the schedule for like a year now. And seems to be following the same framework as Matt does fitness, whether that was intentional or not. Um, doesn't really matter. He sort of like created his own little, uh, I don't know, tangent of that sort of content. And it's very good. And like, obviously people really like it. And there's other YouTubers who have sort of, uh, you know, done the same thing, some much better than others. Like for example, Jesse James West is another up and coming guy who's uh, very young and very, uh, you know, energetic, very likable. So, and some of his videos, you know, have really started to pop off and he is really picking up in the subscribers. So he's at about 232,000 right now. The thing that's notable is these guys, as their followings increase in size, their ratio of views to subscribers gets worse and worse typically. And this is from what I can tell is because you become more and more disconnected with your audience, the bigger you get. So it seems like these guys, like once you get to, for example, at Jesse James West level, he's like, he's big, like, don't get me wrong, like 232,000 is a fucking shit ton of subscribers, but you still are at a point where you can sort of manage responding to comments on like each video, like here or there at least, you know, responding to some DMs, having like really personal um, relationships and having like a real like cult following that feels like the audience is, you know, part of your community, you know, like the, once you start to get to like a million plus, it seems like that community slash like cult ish following 
it seems very hard to kind of like the personal dynamic sort of starts to get worse and worse and worse in a dose dependent manner. Like you start to see like Matt does fitness, for example, I don't think you could possibly conceive that he has as close of a personal connection to his new subscribers as like a Jesse James West does, for example. And this is why you see these YouTubers who are starting to pop off with like viral videos. I feel like they have a disproportionately higher ratio of like viewer to subscriber, it's more favorable than once you get bigger, it becomes harder and harder to get that personal connection where people like you and want to subscribe to you because they actually connect to you on a personal level. So this is like, like for example, Athlean X, like how many guys, the guy's like 11 million subscribers and he gets a shit ton of views, but like, I guess he's an information channel, so it's a bit different, but it's like, I'm sure the personal connection is like non-existent at this point with his subscribership. So like, I don't know, just to me, it seems like the numbers sort of get like less in favor when you get like, you grow more because you can just like, your algorithm gets pushed like way harder because you have that bigger push on the front end with your giant subscribership and people who are watching your videos, which then, you know, gets you more views, which then nets you more likely to get uh, pushed by the algorithm to new people. But that like, really like cult following, like fucking ride or die subscribership, viewership, it's sort of like, it, it seems harder to maintain the bigger and bigger you get is all I'm saying. And it seems to be reflected in these guys who do have similar uh, content as they get bigger, the sort of the ratio sort of gets uh, less optimal. So basically what I want to do is compare Will Tennyson to a few different ratios and then show you sort of where I think he lies. And then we can calculate how many subscribers he has just for the fucking shits and giggles, you know? So Jesse James West, 232,000. This guy has what I would consider to be like right in the, like the, the, what's it called? I don't know, like the sweet spot of like, people fucking love this guy. He's popping off simultaneously and he can still stay like very connected to them because it's not like he's so massive that it's like a completely unmanageable thing to do. So anyways, when you look at his ratio, he has 232,000 subscribers, 19,135,001 video views. So if you go 232,000 divided by uh, 19 million, 135,001. Okay, so his ratio is 0 0.01212, 4378, blah, 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 blah. So his ratio is basically like for every 1.2 uh, percent of people who watch his videos, he gets a subscriber, which is a ridiculously good ratio. That means for every like 100 people who watch, 100 views, you get like one subscriber out of it. Like that's that's very, very good. Cause you can imagine if this guy is getting, you know, a hundred thousand views a day, roughly, you know, he's netting like almost a thousand subscribers a day. So, you know, that ratio is extremely good. So now we move on to a bigger example of a guy who I would consider to be in a very, you know, similar type of content with a bigger following than Jesse James West and a much more uh, veteran of this uh, industry, I guess. So that's Zach Pernon. He does a lot of these, uh, you know, like eating channel challenges and whatnot too. A lot of people would like be quick to put this guy in the like cookie cutter camp, but this guy actually has like a very good sense of humor. So I sort of like would put him on the same, maybe he's not like, like I don't think he has, has much hype behind his channel right now, nearly as much as Will, but he's certainly capable of it. And his he's actually funny as fuck. Like he actually has, you know, like he's a very funny dude and uh, I think uh, it, he's a very comparable channel to kind of like put against Will in determining this ratio here. So he has 726,000 subscribers, 74,615,865 views. So if we go 726,000 divided by 74,615,865, we get 0 0.00. 9729 blah 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 blah. So not as good of a ratio as Jesse James West, but that's expected when you are, you know, becoming a bigger channel. It's very unlikely, I feel like, that you're going to maintain the same fucking heavy hitting die hard ratio. Um, this is of I would say similar content. So it's like a relatable, you know, comparable thing. So he has almost for every one person who watches, like almost every like one percent of views equates to a sub for this guy. So 0 0.0097. So that is sort of what we're looking at for Zach. And like based on the ratios for Jesse and Zach, I would probably, you know, guesstimate that Will probably has a ratio of like maybe 0 0.01 to 
0.011 or something like that because he's a lot bigger than Jesse I think at this point but he's not like he's not big enough where his like ratios are going to fall significantly out of favor in my opinion but he still like has a lot of hype behind him right now one thing to keep in mind too is if these guys delete a video I'm not I'm not sure either any of them have before but if they deleted a video you could get like a disproportionately good ratio because all of a sudden your views would be gone from that video that you deleted or multiple but then your subscribers would stay the same so obviously that's a factor here, but when you look at their stuff, like I don't see any like massive drops in views. Like you would see like a negative if they deleted something. Like I don't see anything. Uh, oh, here's uh, here he deleted something here. So whatever that was, that was a little bit of a drop for deleting something. But anyways, then moving on to Matt Does Fitness, the uh, pinnacle of saucy fitness challenges and uh, eating challenges. This guy is uh, the epitome of fucking house aesthetic natty fucking <laughs> this guy is just youtube fitness in like a nutshell dude so uh but he, he's a he's a cool dude don't get me wrong he seems like a very very uh, nice guy very uh um obviously great content obviously hilarious dude as well and also quite fucking saucy so anyways he is uh 1.97 million subscribers and 265 million seven hundred eleven thousand nine hundred eighty one the video views so that ratio i would presume to be at least lower than like if we're going to compare him to other like eating challenge guys zach perna and jesse we had jesse at like whatever it was like 0.012 zach perna was like 0.009 or whatever so matt does fitness i would assume to be slightly lower than zach perna just based on his size so 1,970,000 subscribers divided by 265,711,981 Okay, so here we go, so 0 0.0074. So even though this guy is like one of the most well-liked guys in the industry, you know, awesome content, fucking hilarious, family man, saucy, like what more can you ask from a guy? What 0 0.007, which is less than like Jesse James West has almost double the ratio of this guy. But obviously it doesn't necessarily mean that one guy like shits on the other one. It's more so, in my opinion, it just seems like, you know, the disconnect of like, as your size grows, you'll gain more subscribers by sheer views, but it's like the ratio sort of becomes a little bit uh, less, you know, tight knit community fucking related as you get uh, bigger. So anyways, okay, so when we look at Will Tennyson, we circle back, he has the 56 million views and I would probably put his ratio like, I don't know, like he's, he's definitely, he's new-ish, but he's not uh, like, Matt Does Fitness is like a veteran. He's been on YouTube since like 2013, he's been here a while, whereas uh, Will, as far as I know, started posting like, um, let's see, I thought it was like last year. I first, yeah, like one year ago. So like what actual date was this? June 26, 2019. So it's been like a year and like a few months. So like pretty new, but like really popping off. And um, I think he's starting to get to the point where he's going to be getting into like the big like subscriber numbers pretty soon. And he's like, he's definitely well on his way there, but I think he's like just on the cusp of maintaining that like, he has a very, very dedicated fan base and they fucking love him. So I'm going to give him a 0 0.011 ratio because I don't think it's going to be as favorable as Jesse James West, who has like probably a smaller following, like likely a much smaller following just based on the, if you actually look at the stats, the amount of views is like one less than one third the amount. And they have like similar, you know, genres, I guess, um, and similar like cult followings, I would say. So I'll give him 0 0.011. So if we take uh, 56 million, 992,563 and we multiply that by 0 0.011 we get about 626,918 subs so that is roughly my guess I think he is probably in the ballpark of 600 to 650,000 subscribers right now which is very fucking good considering the amount of views he has and uh being this new to YouTube so anyway that is uh, my guess on Will Tennyson and um, you know, just a random off the cuff video. I was just looking at his stuff and being like, wow, these videos are really popping off. So anyways, that is it. Um, that was just something interesting I wanted to, uh, I was just calculating. I was like, fuck, maybe I'll just press record and make a video. Cause I bet a lot of people are probably curious too. Cause it's like, it's like the only like big YouTuber who has like a private subscriber count. So I don't know, a lot of people are probably curious and that is my rough guesstimate. So 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplaysmoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplates underscore more dates, Facebook, Snapchat, Bitsu, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to listen on audio instead of burn through your data and battery at the gym, driving, whatever it is. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below, my TRT clinic. Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas that I designed myself from scratch, my recommended lab test panels, anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. So thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.